Okay, today on part two of the brown trout, I'm going to be laying out the gill structure and the eyes and uh, probably cutting that in. Um, I'm also going to be laying out the fins. I've got them all cut out and then I traced them out on this block of Tupelo here that I'll be cutting out on the bandsaw here in just a minute. So let me get started on that. All right, I've got the fins cut out now, and um, I've got the tail, I leave the tail a little thick so that I have room to give it some motion, uh, to carve motion into it. Uh, same way with the dorsal and the anal fin, I leave them a little thick, and then that gives me a little room to, to give them that motion that they need to make them a little more realistic. Um, I cut the pelvic and pectoral fins wider than I need, and then I just cut them in half that way I have a spare set if I mess up or for a future project. The And I think I put this in another video. I leave these connected. I draw them out on one piece so it's it's a little easier to, to carve with it all in one piece. And then I just cut them in half once I'm done. So I'm going to get these in now and go start on the gill, on the, the gills and the eyes on the head. So I'm going to go set up in the house to do that. Okay, what I've done is I've taken the uh, pattern, and there's, there's a number of ways you can do this, but um, I'll just take a little scribe, and I'll make a little, and I'll follow the pattern, line, make sure it's lined up, and then I'll follow the pattern and make, and scribe a little line onto the, gill pattern itself um, follow that through all the lines and then what I have left I go back over with a pencil and uh, draw them in so I can see them better the line there I forgot uh, make sure the eyes are lined up I'll draw me a little reference line across make sure they stay lined up with each other um, and then I take a exacto knife and then I start cutting in the lines and I'm going to reset the camera so that you can follow that along a little better and I'll do a little bit of that on camera. All right, so all I'm doing now is I'm going to take a little X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut down into the lines that I just draw, drew on. And I'll follow them around, cutting down into the wood. And then I'll take a rounded blade and I'll just start cutting the relief in for that. 
I'm going to cut right up to that scribe line that I described. And I'll go back with a diamond bit with a Dremel and smooth all that out. I don't know if you can see that relief or not. And what that does, that just gives me a little bit of scale relief there with the lines that I just cut out for the scales. I mean, not the scales, <laughs> the gills. I got scales on the mind coming up with that. That's a tedious process and what you'll see soon enough. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow along all my lines and then cut the relief on them. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've um, I've got all the relief cut in around the details of the scales. I mean, uh, the uh, gills. I don't know why I keep calling them scales. Um, but now I'm going to take the Dremel and I'm going to come in and smooth out and just clean up these lines and uh, make them smoother and just make them blend in a little better. And then I will uh, start on the fins. All right, to clean these lines up, I'm going to use this little tapered diamond bit. Um, it does a good job of removing wood and smoothing it at the same time. So I'm going to get that set up here. And I don't need a lot of speed on it. I'm just tapering this line that I cut out there, tapering it back towards the body. And I'll do a light sanding on it as well. That'll blend everything in a little better. Some of these are kind of awkward to get to.
I'll just take this little sanding buffing wheel here. Know everything. I tell you, you want to be sure and wear glasses, safety glasses for this thing. Because it throws out some stuff. I think I got the gills down to where I'm happy with them. Uh, probably need to do just a little bit of hand sanding to take out more of the tool marks. A lot of that will be covered up by gesso and paint and it won't show as much. The, um, But I think I'm happy. I'm going to stop right there for today. I intended on doing the, the uh, fins, but I think it's going to be running a little long, so I'm going to try to stick with my promise of keeping these shorter. And on part three, I'll start with the uh, fins, uh, taking them down and putting the detail on those. So, but I appreciate y'all and I appreciate any comments you might have and uh, hope you'll be back for part three.